Today I'm going to show you how to unlock a Verizon BlackBerry Storm 9530 smartphone. I'm going to show you how to unlock it for all GSM SIM card worldwide carriers. This right here is the Storm. What you're going to need is the phone, which I'll show you what the Storm looks like here. This is the BlackBerry Storm 9530 Verizon branded. So it works on a CDMA and GSM network. You're also going to need a SIM card that is non-Verizon. Um, in this case, we're going to use the T-Mobile SIM, the T-Mobile Active SIM card. So we're going to go ahead and make a place a test call at the end uh, to show you that it works on the T-Mobile network. So here we've got all of the contents that come with the phone. off the back battery door cover, remove the battery, and swap out the Verizon card comes inside of it uh, when you purchase these brand new so you're going to want to remove that and enter the T-Mobile SIM card. Now we've gone ahead and put the T-Mobile SIM card inside of the phone and booted it up. Uh, first thing I'm going to need is going to be the IMEI number in order to generate the unlock code for your device. Um, that IMEI number can be found several ways. The easiest way is go into menu, go into options, scroll down to status. Once you click status, uh, it's going to say IMEI number. That's going to be a 15 digit number uh, located under the status. Um, of the phone. Once you have retrieved that, you'll go ahead and submit that to us through email or through text, and that's what we're going to use to generate your unlock code. Um, we do have the active SIM card inside of the phone, the T-Mobile, so now we'll start off. You want to make sure your connect, your managed connections, you want to make sure all the con connections are off. Um, in this case, everything's already been turned off. It gives you the option to turn them back on, that's fine. Um, you're then going to go to Options, advanced options select sim card it's going to say sim card no valid sim card hit the menu button bring show keyboard up once the keyboard shown you're going to want to tilt the phone to get a landscape view hit M E P D which brings the personalization screen then you're going to want to hit M E P alt 2 that's going to bring up the box that says enter network MEP code 10 left. That means you have 10 tries left. Um, you don't want to mess that up because once you pass the 10 tries and hit the wrong um, unlock code, your phone's permanently locked. Um, in this case, we've got the unlock code for this specific phone. Now, this is for this phone only. Do not try this on your handset. Um, it could damage your phone and we're not held responsible. Um, the unlock code for this one is 192. Six two two eight five three eight seven zero eighty two ninety two. 8 7 0 typed it in. I haven't hit enter. Once you hit enter, you're going to get a box that says code accepted. Um, this means that the phone will be permanently unlocked. No matter if it goes under a factory reset, the phone is going to be permanently unlocked. Go ahead and hit enter. It's going to say code accepted. You then back out to the home screen. Tilt the phone upward. Now you'll go into menu. This is probably the most important part of this. Go into manage connections. Select mobile network. Now in network technology you want to change from global to GSM UMTS. You want to change the network mode to 2G unless you're certain that your network runs under a 3G. Uh, just hit the back, hit the back again. Now you'll go ahead and hold down the end button to reboot the phone. Turn your handheld off. Give it a few seconds. I usually give it about 10 seconds and turn the phone back on. Now you'll
you'll go into menu you're, you'll see that on the top right you don't have a signal bar it still says off so go into your menu scroll down to manage connections we'll go ahead and turn all connections on Now sometimes when you do restart the phone um, in this case we'll turn them back off you want to go into mobile network re-ensure that the network technology is set for GSM um, sometimes it wants to reset itself back to read as a Verizon phone so GSM 2G go ahead and back out turn the connections on now that we've corrected that it'll say restore connections you'll see on the top right it's searching GSM It's found the T-Mobile bar. T-Mobile service just popped up on the top. GSM on the right hand side. Now I'll go ahead and make a call to the customer service number to verify that it's now on the T-Mobile network. test call for T-Mobile now we know that that's active as long as you do have the internet package you will get the capital edge letters on the right hand side um, you'll just have to have your carrier send you the service books which will enable the browser and everything else that goes with your service um, this phone is now a hundred percent unlocked um, we are company called All Talk Wireless Communications out of Kansas City, Missouri. We unlock all GSM phones, any phone, Blackberry. It can be from a Sprint or Verizon carrier as long as they're World Edition phones such as this one, the Storm 2, the Tour, um, anything of that nature. So this phone is now 100% unlocked. Um, you can contact us several ways through email. Um, our email address is mobilephoneskc at hotmail.com. Uh, the telephone number is 913-375-7169. Uh, again, it's All Talk Wireless Communications, um, and that's out of Kansas City, Missouri. Um, best way to reach us is by phone, 913-375-7169. Um, we do accept PayPal, all major credit cards. If you've got an eBay account, it's a lot easier to go through there. Um, we do have a lot of wholesalers that purchase I mean, multiple unlock codes for multiple discounts, so feel free to contact us and we can send you an instant unlock code. Thanks again for watching.